top of the morning guys as you can see i've got my hair cut already i got it nice and short for a change today is not a very hectic or complicated day i'm just gonna be at home for the entire day reese has just left to go home now i'm basically just gonna plan my week ahead because i've got a test week at university now and I'm, i need to somehow find the, the the balance between uni working and training this week and then i'm gonna get to work in about an hour so i can get started on the inbox get some calls booked in i need to book three calls today to hit my weekly goal of 23 calls booked and other than that i'm also going to do some studying this evening because i got my first test tomorrow i have studied quite a lot already for it but i just need to go over some last little things and get ready for it so that's pretty much what my day looks like nothing major and there's also apparently a massive storm that's supposed to be coming in evidently i don't think there's going to be a big storm i think they just every time they say oh there's a massive storm coming in and then it's just like an hour of rain it's just really nothing so yeah, and, and it just just people in my class also making all these silly excuses like, oh, can we postpone the test week or, or get a test pushed back because of the storm? And they're all like, oh yeah, I hope everyone needs to be safe. And it's just, okay, we get it. You don't want to write the test and you're just looking for any excuse not to write it. A storm really is not going to do anything. It's not going to hurt you. So yeah, some people are like that. But um, what can I say? What can I say? I'll check in with you guys later and see how we do. We're on the verge of booking a call in. Um, just need to arrange a time with this person, but I offered a call to a bunch of people from last night, a bunch of leads from yesterday. So let's hope they start piling in. I mean, it's still quite early, so I think in about an hour, two hours, then I'll start replying, just because it's, it's only two, almost two o'clock in the afternoon now, so yeah, let's hope. Okay, I've gotten two calls booked in, but I'm gonna take some time now to do some studying, just because it needs to get done, and then I'll return to the inbox tonight, probably about 8 p.m. That's probably when I'll get back. It's just after four o'clock in the afternoon now, so got some time to study, Pretty nice. I do like it when a bit of rain comes down like that. Okay, I'm finished my studying now. Well, at least until I'm done with work, but it's time to get back on the inbox. I wanna get one or two more calls booked in, and then I'm going to study again after that, just to kind of go over my notes, because the way I study is usually I'll type up all the notes and stuff, summarize it, and then I'll go and learn it by reading and memorizing and stuff. So that part I still need to do. And then tomorrow morning, my test is at 11 a.m., but we're going in quite early so we can get proper revision done again, just to make sure it's all, all done nicely. So yeah. All right, what's up guys? I ended the day with four calls booked, so I'm happy with that. That means we've exceeded the goal for this week by a call. But yeah, reached the end of the day now, end of the week, and it's time to read your guys' comments. This is actually the last time I'm going to be reading these comments, doing this kind of daily thing just because I've realized that, although obviously I love you guys' comments and I like reacting to them, there's just a lot of questions and things that I myself am no expert on. <clears throat> so I just, I often feel wrong giving my answer or advice on, on things because I'm no expert on, on many things. I, I've still got so much to learn and I feel like it would be unwise to impart non-existent wisdom on you guys so it's just yeah it's just one of those things obviously i'll, I'll reply to the comments that i can and I'll, I'll just type them and reply but i won't be doing these kind of video sit down these are the comments anymore so sorry about that guys but it's just something i gotta do but with that said let's do it for the last time let's have a look at these comments hello james great video nice blue air white clouds skyline view Guess it was good weather condition, maybe a little cold, but dry. Yeah, Cape Town's a wonderful place, and yesterday was a bit, it wasn't, it was kind of cold actually, it was a bit windy. Very nice, interesting architecture spotted in your video of the African church and buildings. Thank you, mate, well done. 
of course. He seemed extremely relaxed in this video. It was fun to watch. I'm glad it was fun to watch. I wonder why I seemed relaxed. Probably because I was tired. <laughs> I don't know. Loving the cat logo on your black tee. So compelling. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? It's such a nice t-shirt. I'm glad they gave me that. Thank you so much for the shout out and the kind words. Same to you and Mr. Reese. Yeah, of course, Anthony. Been here since day one. Hope your day has gone well. Thank you, Thomas. Have a real good weekend and your studying for tests is quite important as i.e. one day you will look back and say, what if I'd only done better there? I know what you mean, but uni tests to me aren't the most important thing in my life at the moment, but obviously I do put in the work and I make sure I get good results. Reese could use a shave. The facial hair does nothing for him. <laughs> okay. Thanks for your input. Um, I'll pass on the, the comment to him. I'm sure he'll laugh or appreciate that. I'm not sure. But yeah, there we go. That's all the comments from the video. And let's get into checking off the goals and writing our next week's goals. Cool. There we go. Let's have a look at these goals and check off what I've done this week. So book 23 calls. I know I've done this. Let's count it up anyway. 10, 14, 18, 20, 24. So we got that. Nice. And if you're wondering why there's this zero here, it's because on Friday, Shane, my boss, took over on the inbox. He just wanted to do the messaging. So the time when I usually book most of my calls, I wasn't able to be on the inbox. I just had to, yeah. So that's why I got zero on that day, but that's fine. We got 20, 24 calls booked regardless. So if I had that day, I don't know what, maybe 26, 28 calls. That would have been insane. Cold shower every day. Yes, we did that. Increase the weight on every exercise. We did that. Learn more about Muay Thai. We did that. And only eat out once. Didn't do that. I kind of realized it's a bit of a silly goal because there's things I can't control. Like when I'm out and I know I'm running out of time and I just need something quick and easy. I've said this a lot of times, but it's just, it's, it's more so not um not only eating out a certain amount of times but not eating expensive food you know because unfortunately i'm cursed with an expensive taste so yeah that's uh four out of five goals hit overall i'm very happy this week's been a fantastic week Lit literally my best week i've ever had in terms of of sales that 24 calls in a week is pretty insane that's that's pretty up there with the top appointment set. Let's have a look. Let's arrange the goals for next week. Sorry, I just want, want to interrupt before I uh, write out my goals. I just thought, if you know me, I'm always looking into the future. And I realized one day if I have a business and I can get 23 calls booked in in a week, and let's say I have a high ticket offer or something worth about $4,000 for a program or something. Obviously, I don't know what, and this is all hypothetical. But if I get 23 calls booked and each of those is a chance to get $4,000, let's just say, and I, either I'm closing or I have a closer that's got, let's go for modest 50%. That's like, calculate this quickly. Let's call it 11 out of 20. Let's call it sorry, 12 out of 24 calls closed. That's like $4,000. That's $48,000 in a week. Imagine if I get that, that would be insane. And obviously that's, that's not all profit, that's just revenue, but that would be, that would be nuts. One day, one day. Here are my goals for this week. It's a pretty short list, I know, but as I do this more and more often, it's harder and harder to come up with new goals because the other things, they still stand true. The other goals I still implement. It's just finding new stuff and, and, Quanta, quant, quantifiable, quant, quantable, quant, quantitative, whatever, you, you know what I'm saying. Finding that sort of stuff is uh, was a challenge. So getting these goals out was a challenge. Either way, I want to spar for the first time in Muay Thai. This, this is gonna be a humbling experience and it'll probably be on Saturday. So that'll be interesting. That's something I definitely wanna do. And I also want to be able to skip for a minute straight without messing up or hitting the rope on my toes definitely something I want to do and during the week so Monday to Friday when I'm doing tests and things the only things I want to be doing 
of training, studying, and working. And obviously writing the tests as well and stuff like eating and whatever, but that doesn't count. Well, it, it can't. I'm not gonna game, but either way, I've gotta be very, very locked in this week because time is a scarce this week. Time is very scarce this week. Um, but yeah, that's, what I'm, that's one thing I wanna do. And then I also want to make more entertaining videos this week. I want to try different things like uh, sound effects and cuts and little edit things just to see how it, how it goes and if you guys enjoy the videos more. So yeah, there we go. That's all the goals for this week. Let's crush them. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the video here. You guys can go like, subscribe, comment and follow me on insta see you guys tomorrow